this is Maheshwar. In this video today we will discuss about how we can enable the ProGuard for your Android application and how you can optimize your APK size. This is the big headache for Android developer and how you can shrink those resources <coughs> so with the help of enabling ProGuard. So let's jump into the Android official website and let's understand what is ProGuard and how it will help us to reduce our APK size. So as, as you as you can see here, the first title given by the Android official documentation is that shrink obfuscate and optimize your app. Shrink, that means shrink your resources sites. Let's say different different resources you are using, images, videos, or any kind of a resources you are used in your application. Obfuscate your code and then optimize your APK sites. And that is the reason behind enabling ProGuard for your Android application. So Android ProGuard is an open source project that will help us to optimize and obfuscate our code. So let's jump into uh, the core features what ProGuard is providing and in the sequence as mentioned here in the documentation code shrinking that the, the feature states us detect safely removes unused your classes, import fields, methods, attribute, whatever the unused thing in your code this will help us to remove that one because that is unused second one is the resource shrinking whatever the resources you are using images unused resources remove those resources any packaged app remove those one any unused images resources remove those one so this will help us here and also the reduce the size and obfuscation here is the core thing to have a secure your code base with the obfuscation. Obfuscation shortens your name basically. So let's say you have the login class name. So it will obfuscate and shorten that name as an ABC. Something is different one. So this is the ratio of shrinking. Obfuscation, oh, sorry, uh, this is about the obfuscation and the optimization where we will inspect and write down the code further to reduce your size. So basically DEX file size will be reduced. This will handle internally by the ProGuard. So this, these are the different advantages we will get with the help of ProGuard. Now let's jump and check how we can enable the ProGuard for our Android application in Android Studio. So we have the different different build types and build files. Uh, build types basically different flavors we can create to in our build.gradle file about your if you have some a free version of your application or paid version or some subscription member subscription version so you can mention those flavors and those specific features here I have written one blog about how we can enable the ProGuard for your Android Studio <coughs> and I have written simple steps about it, uh, that as well so we can enable ProGuard in two steps we can uh, we, we need to update two properties minify enabled and shrink resources to true by default those are the false so we can enable those as untrue once we'll mark that as a true so by default android studio will enable provide for us now the things will happen next if we're using some third-party libraries or anything then we need to update those properties specific to that third-party libraries into your ProGuard rule files so simple ProGuard files will look like this so it has certain rules so rules is nothing but like let's say keep this class keep this class don't obfuscate because those are the open source and android needs those like if you're extending any class <coughs> with the activity so android should know this is the activity because we need we are configuring that activity name in your manifest file and at the type of application launcher uh, Android Studio will look into that class with the class name and it will load that class. So we need to, what are the classes required? We know, we no need to obfuscate. So we will mention those here. And if we are using some library, let's say we are using V4 libraries or anything, we need to mention those ProGuard rules specific to that library now here. Let's say you are using the uh, butter knife or Akara or any crash analytics. So we need to mention those files provide rules here. So those are the simply and every third party library will provide you that <coughs> their ProGuard rules. So we just need to copy and paste in our ProGuard rules files. So this is about the ProGuard enabling for Android. Try it out and let me know if you face any issue. Thanks and thanks for listening. Bye bye.